Ezekiel Elliott, um, we have, uh, this TMZ Sports has been all over the story, breaking all of these stories, that he um, has been disciplined by the NFL for domestic violence. We now have the police tapes of his girlfriend, the ex-girlfriend, or the girlfriend, where she goes into great detail about what she says he did to her, and it is really graphic. Has there been any history of abuse or violence in the past? There has. He has lost control and has yanked me into the wall, busted the side of my jaw, the one with the edges. Um, my face is swollen and a little bit bruised. And then I did have um, like thumb thumbprint marks on my yeah, Harvey, the accuser details a, a long history, a pattern of really violent, scary uh, abuse. But, you know, there's nothing like hearing it. From, you read all the things in the reports, but there's nothing like actually hearing it from the, well, from the Evan, accuser. E e Evan, I got to tell you something. When we, when you guys did the story, when TMZ Sports did this story, I didn't think it was as bad as this. I don't think a lot of people did. A lot of people thought, okay, maybe they were like shoving her out or something like that. I but mean, she's breaking detailing, her jaw? Choking her out for 20 to 30 seconds, slamming her into things. So, I mean, it's, so, it, so the allegations are pretty bad. So help me out here. Number one, and they didn't prosecute him. Right, now that's the other point. So we actually spoke with Ezekiel Elliott's camp and their, their, sta their stance on this particular uh, audio that you're hearing is, look, all of this information was presented to the police, to the, to the district attorney, all that stuff. They decided not to prosecute yeah, you, Ezekiel but, but, Elliott. But can't you get, you can get medical information, either her jaw was broken or it wasn't broken. Right, well, she's actually detailing incidents that happened before the July 2016 Well, no, incident. no, I understand, but there must be medical Information. Unless she didn't go to the doctor. She said she well, busted. How do you not doctor. go to the doctor when you have your jaw broken? Look, the other thing is there are photos that go along with her allegations from July 2016. Let's not make it seem like there aren't photos. There are bruises. You can see we have the photos on the website as well. You can see bruises to her neck, to yeah, her but, arms, but, yeah, to her legs, the, the, to the her bruise, hips. The bruises, I, I, they're terrible, but it's not breaking somebody's jaw, Evan. I mean, she looks like somebody roughed her up. And the NFL believes it was Ezekiel Elliott. Ezekiel Elliott is saying it's not true. This is she's lying through her teeth. She's changed her story multiple times. And the react the reason that you're seeing these bruises is because she was in a bar fight with somebody else, not me. Well, here's He's my, claiming he was set up. I got it, but here's my problem with it. Um, the NFL clearly believes he committed domestic violence right. because they've suspended him for six games. Right. So that said, if they believe that he committed domestic violence, given what she's saying, if they believe it to be true, is six games too little? Man, it's a pretty harsh punishment. The, you know, and by the way, in addition to the six games, the NFL has said one more incident uh, ever again, and you're banned from the league well, for that, life. That's the, the policy of the NFL right now. That's not just him. Right. That's a policy. Right, but they have definitely let him know that like he's on the thinnest ice you can possibly. But do, but do you understand what I'm saying? Is that I understand that he's saying she's lying, but the NFL believes her to some extent. Or that's why they benched him. Yeah, I mean, the question I have for you guys, you know, is he wasn't charged with a crime here. So even though the NFL has done their own investigation, can you should you be able to suspend somebody for six games or longer if the police have also done yes. an investigation yes. and found that there was no yeah. crime committed? Yes. Right, I mean, because the, 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 the statute, it's different, right? Because like, my the, job it, it, rules it, are it, different than the, the standard, legal law. Right. The standard of proof for uh, criminal conviction is beyond a reasonable doubt. The standard for the NFL disciplining somebody is far less yeah, than that. Yeah, but based on so, based on what we know so far, there's some reasonable doubt here, I think, don't don't you think? Well, no, but you well, can the thing there's not no, reasonable no, okay, doubt about uh, is the uh, St. Patrick's Day video where he's pulling down a woman's top. That is definitely Zeke okay. Elliott doing something that is terrible. Uh, and, and you're right, but I want to just make something clear. You, do, you there may be reasonable doubt, but the NFL st still has a right to discipline him if they believe it's more probable than not, or clearly he did it, even though there right. might be some doubt that he did. But Ezekiel it's a is much going, lower he, standard. He's going to war on this thing because he feels like he has been unfairly punished. So he's going after the NFL. He's lawyered up. They're getting ready to appeal this thing. So he doesn't believe that six games is fair, and he, he thinks it should be reduced to zero games. Hi, my name is Osamoy Osunde. I'm from. Fresno, California. And with this whole situation, it wouldn't be the first time we've seen a person lie about domestic abuse, especially on a rich and famous athlete. Uh, but at the same time, it wouldn't be the first time an NFL player has put their hands on a woman. So innocent until proven guilty, but if the NFL found something out, then he's most likely guilty. He's right, Harvey. There's a player named Zach Randolph who uh, was accused of domestic violence, and the woman who accused him went to police and said, you yeah. know what? I actually, I hit myself, and the whole thing was a setup. So. That's true. Absolutely. Yeah. It can absolutely happen.
Make sure to subscribe to TMZ Live to keep up to date on the latest entertainment news. And if you want to keep watching, click on one of these videos right now.